Welcome to my channel. My name is Rue. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you are here. And if you're returning, thanks for coming and joining me again. On today's episode, I will be showing you some of the things happening on our farm, including the arrival of two new baby Nigerian dwarf goats. This cute little fluff ball in this wicker basket is Flopsy, my daughter's bunny. And we have a lot of fun with Flopsy. Sometimes Flopsy is brought inside and put in baskets and just given attention. And then he goes back outside to his little um, area that we have set up for him outside. This is our livestock guardian dog. And she is so sweet. And my son really enjoys playing with her. I showed on the last video how we are currently building out a new kitchen in our breezeway area and I found this beautiful hutch on Facebook Marketplace. I'm really thrilled with it. When we went to pick it up, I noticed the hardware on it and it is even prettier than I realized. I think the hardware is something extra special. The couple said they loved the hutch, but they had just moved and it did not fit into their new home. So they were selling it and we were blessed to find it and get a good deal on it. So I'm just looking forward to getting the kitchen finished and putting in the new hutch. We picked up the new table for our kitchen, the addition that we're building to the house, the new kitchen. I saw this on Facebook Marketplace and I just really appreciated the spindles on the bottom of the base of the table. And it has two leaves that stick in the middle so I believe that it will easily seat 12 people at least. And then it came with eight of these chairs. They are more of a cream color than white so I may end up painting them we will see but overall I'm really happy with the look of this table recently my youngest daughter and I took a trip to Hobby Lobby for a couple of things and hit their 65% off all spring items sell she and I found so many beautiful things and so many great gifts and a few things for the new kitchen and she enjoyed it. You can see she's all smiles and it was so fun to do that mother-daughter um, impromptu, unplanned shopping haul with her. There is a saying that says you live and learn. I went to Ohio's Amish country and went to a garden show there with a friend and I bought this little packet of seeds called Cosmos and all i knew is they were heat tolerant and they i thought would do well in our climate but i didn't really know anything else about them and so i sprouted them from seeds and they have grown long and lanky and so little by little i've been trans uh, planting them into other pots and some of them are getting fairly big, but they just keep growing taller and taller, like miniature bushes or something, and I'm trying to stake them up. And I have yet to see flowers develop on them. I'm hoping as hard as I've worked at these cosmos that I will eventually see them flower, and some of them will just grow up these stakes that I've put in pots and such. But I kind of laughed because I was so pleased at first when I saw them sprout, but then I had no idea they were just going to get so tall and lengthy and start kind of uh, curling up around each other. And anyway, you do live and learn. I have been thinking about trying to come up with a name for this YouTube channel. And I kept thinking of the song, Constantly Abiding. In John 15, 7, we read, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. And so for us to be successful in homemaking, in homesteading, in homeschooling, in whatever, 
the season and the call on our lives, we need to be abiding in Christ. And there's a song called Constantly Abiding that has just been going over and over in my mind. And I thought about how we're to abide in Christ as believers, but also as ladies, we're doing a lot of abiding in our home, keeping our homes for our families, spending time training our children, and creating that atmosphere in the home. And so I decided to name the channel Constantly Abiding. The song says, there's a place in my heart that the world never gave, a peace it cannot take away. Though the trials of life may surround like a cloud, I have a peace that has come there to stay. Constantly abiding, Jesus is mine. Constantly abiding, rapture divine. He never leaves me lonely, whispers oh so kind, I will never leave thee, Jesus is mine. I have really enjoyed working through my scripture writing journals, the Word Study Scripture Writing Journals for Ladies, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Even though I compiled these journals, I enjoy going through and doing the scripture writing passages, looking over the word studies, dwelling on the hymns, and reading the quotes from great Christians. I'll put links in the description below if this is something that interests you. These journals can be found on Amazon and also on my website, LegacyHomeschoolReflections.com. My little Matthew turned nine years old and I took him to a safari drive through park that we discovered is not too far from our house. And just he and I went on this outing and enjoyed seeing some animals and spending time together. I can't believe he's nine years old. The cows are cooling off on this hot Texas summer day. They have the right idea. my birthday boy and I went to the safari park we went to tractor supply and picked up some new baby chicks this is always such a hit in our house when I come home with baby chicks and we thought this batch was especially pretty We 
have been thankful that little Matthew has been able to help some with the construction project. He has been able to work on measuring skills. He has been able to get experience with some different power tools, work at running electric wire, and using a nail gun and more. And you know, homeschooling is sometimes the books, but sometimes homeschooling is the life skills. And we are thankful that he has had this hands-on opportunity and he sure has enjoyed it. We have a lot of the electrical in place. Also, there's been a window framed here. So when you come in the entryway, there will be a window letting some light in. That would be nice around the kitchen as well. So there's the sink area with the plumbing. And then standing at the sink, you can look out that window. This pipe was actually switched out from the original white pipe. That one was not wide enough and so the floor was cut out and the pipe was changed and the uh, red and blue hosing was laid down. And this is the craft room. Everything is fully framed as far as I can tell. There's no more framing. So I am so glad we decided to put a window here. That was a decision that came later on. And these windows pretty much take up the whole wall, which I'm thrilled with for looking out with, you know, a little space between each window. And then it'll be so nice to also be able to look out the side and see the barn there. I'm hoping for shelves or cabinets on this ledge here. That would be a good bit of storage. Psalm 8. 6 through 9 says, You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We knew that we had some pregnant goats. We just were not sure when this one was going to deliver. And I went out to feed the goats one night and this little baby was looking up at me. So what a pleasant surprise. And of course, once I sounded the alarm that we had a new baby kid, everybody was running to the pen and everyone enjoyed seeing the baby. It is just so precious to watch them right after they're born when they're trying to find their little legs and their balance. It's so sweet. And to see the mamas caring for their babies, it's just precious. She likes the culvert here in the goat pen. She's one day old. Just the only baby. Just a single, no siblings.
these are our male goats and the white one is the daddy of the new babies. two years this November and just recently we discovered a set of pottery in a garden shed on the property and I was so delighted to find that I have these beautiful pots to work with. 